When we speak about working in a team in the 21st century, we need to address working remotely, collaborating with others via digital means, via digital channels, because this is what we do even right now. And this happens very, very often within work environment as well. Teams nowadays can be situated in different parts of the world and they need to synchronize their activities in order to accomplish a given goal. Location of individual members is less of a problem nowadays. However, there is some specific etiquette when it comes to collaborating as part of a team and meeting digitally. So how do we make our team one that delivers consistently and how do we make our teams one that trust the members of that team even if they don't meet on a regular basis? Today I'm going to share with you some of these solutions that we can adopt in order to make our digital team a high performer in any sort of given task that has been allocated. The first thing to do is to really take time to become personal with people rather than quickly jumping into the formal communication or the formal problem or agenda of the day. It is perfectly acceptable, as a matter of fact, advisable to take the first 10 minutes of a meeting to ask people about how they are and then to allocate enough time for them to share how they are feeling, how they're facing their tasks, are there any difficulties related to work or related to their families that may impede their ability to deliver. Even questions like, how is your dog doing? Last, in the last meeting, I could hear your dog barking, your dog is very playful, or any sort of pet can be really mentioned. Kids of the people may be mentioned as well, family members, etc. Just give them the opportunity to talk about themselves just for a little bit because this would make people more keen on communicating later on and sharing their opinions and perspectives later on as well. Another important element to consider is recording. You need to make sure that everything that is mentioned and agreed upon is actually recorded or documented in some sort of way or fashion. Nevertheless, if we record, our video communication, our virtual communication, this may make some people more hesitant to share their ideas because nobody likes to watch themselves later on. Nobody does, but some people don't like it at all, which may prevent them really from sharing their ideas. So even if you are recording, make sure you have a brief session before the recording. Make sure you have some sort of ideation session, maybe that's up to 10 minutes, to let people throw their ideas at you. And you can just put down on a piece of paper even who suggested what idea. And later on, as you start recording the session, you can then go back to these people who have suggested this idea, give them credibility, recognize that this is a great idea, ask other people to take this idea further, even if the person suggesting the idea themselves is a shy person and does not want to speak once the actual recording is turned on, they would feel good. They would feel that they're valued because their idea has been mentioned and other people are asked to start working on it or develop it further. This may actually bring them to a state in which they feel okay to elaborate themselves and bring this idea further themselves rather than waiting for others to do so. In either case, these first 10 minutes for socializing and then 10 minutes for ideation without recording would be worthwhile because this will influence the dynamics of the meeting later on. Make sure you provide people with opportunities to share their ideas even while you're speaking. Even if somebody is speaking, other people can contribute to whatever the topic is via chat. They can share some posts. They can even use the like button within whatever has been added to the chat. They can exchange files either within this platform that is being used, such as Teams or Zoom or via Dropbox, etc. But one thing to be very careful of is to make sure that there is a specifically chosen 
number of platforms or channels that are approved for communication. Because you don't want to be in a situation in which different members of the team are trying to share files via different channels. Somebody may prefer email, another person may prefer Dropbox, another person may use Slack. So in the end, it forces the team members to really download and use all these channels. But unfortunately, some of these channels would be secondary or not checked at all, which would prevent the team from being on the same page. So do consider these hints and suggestions. And if I have missed anything that could make digital teams work, you can really share your opinions in the comment section. One thing that perhaps I have not mentioned so far is the importance of turning your camera off. The importance of this goes without saying. You want to see the people's emotion and you could easily do so via looking at their image, at their video. A picture is not ideal because if somebody puts up their picture instead of their video, that's not ideal because this person would have chosen the most polished version of themselves, perhaps wearing a suit, perhaps being shaved. So this is going to make the whole situation or environment very formal to the point the teammates may take that person as too serious and they may feel intimidated to share ideas or they may consider that person different in a way and then this may cause isolation. Another thing to consider is really invest into a good microphone. I hope you can hear this video well. And this is because if you do so, if you do hear it well, this is because I have a nice microphone. As a matter of fact, sound quality is much more important than video camera quality. If you have a poor connection and a poor microphone, your team members may find it difficult to hear your ideas. And if they don't hear your ideas, they will not recognize your contribution. So consider these aspects. And again, if I have missed something that makes digital communication works, please put that in the comment section so that we can all benefit from your insight and suggestions. I hope you enjoyed this short video and let's catch up in the next one.